staple. This is the one that any runner that walks into my room gets this one. It is a diagnostic tool as well as a strengthening exercise, and it is sim as simple as saying one leg. Many of you don't consider this to be a strength exercise, so I challenge you all tonight when you go home and you're brushing your teeth for a minute, because that's what they recommend. Two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, oh fantastic. My, my son's, my son's <laughs> toothbrush vibrates. <laughs> fantastic. And it, it turns off after two minutes. Oh, that'd be great. Two minutes. So, okay, I've got to let you do a minute on each leg because this will get tough. Just practice standing on one leg for a minute. Okay? If you're in good posture, you just like this. Anyone can hold this for a minute. Up nice and tall. So you've got your hamstrings and your bum engaged, your hips in line. So the stuff we chatted about before, you can't see your heel, your knees soft, everything's nice and balanced. Standing here and holding this, I can tell you right now, my little foot is going, woo, this is getting tired. And my bum is starting to let me know that I'm doing this. Okay? I really want to do that. I want to keep it in my waist. I want to cheat. So holding the correct position, a sustained hold, requires quite a bit more strength than you might think. Okay? So it looks simple. It's a very good strength exercise. Running is a series of single leg stands. If you can't stand and hold a sustained single leg stand, we've got bigger problems because repeating a wobbly single leg stand a thousand times is going to create injuries. Okay, so base thing, if you do nothing else, be able to stand on one leg. Where you start to get tired is going to give you an indication of what else needs to be. Okay, no. and to be honest, that's that should be easy. You know, that's no distractions. Uh, a good progression from that is to cover one eye or to close one eye. As soon as you lose your depth perception, it makes things a little bit harder. Again, you can close both eyes to make it much tougher. So try that uh, if you think you're good by standing on one leg. Uh, another way we can make it harder is to bring in uh, a running specific movement, so arm drive. Okay, so on one leg and just bring in your normal arm drive. And straight away, this is setting up a bit of a rotational force. The hips want to do this. So you're having to really work hard through the hip uh, and obviously through the ankle. So I won't demonstrate this for too long because I'll definitely fall over. Okay. With that, if you don't think about it, you just come into your single stand and you do your natural arm drive. If you are somebody that crosses over your body or carries a water bottle on one side, you're quickly going to see how much rotation and you'll feel it very quickly inside of your knee, in the waist, in the rotation, in the chest. It gives you again that chance because you're not moving, you're not worrying about traffic or anything else to see where am I cheating? Where are these overload problems coming from? Because you can feel it happening. That's a great time to say, okay, I'm going to work on my arm drive without actually having to worry about what my legs are doing because they're still. Okay, so use it as technique but as much as you're able to.